Corby on the attack at the moment coming down this left hand side here's uh, Tom McGowan tries to get a shot on goal uh, the uh, oh well Corby opportunity for Gloucester City here early on here's Matt Locke referee blows his whistle and Matt Locke's just going to bend this one into the box in it comes Darren Mullins with a flick on and uh, just goes wide of the goal but uh, opportunity there early doors Dave a little back heel he's inside the box Morford plays it in but it's uh, cleared by Gulliver so he's still on the attack though, Corby only half clear again, here's Rawlings coming forward, Rawlings plays the ball forward, it manages to find Bird who tries to have a shot from about 30 yards out and it just rolls into the keeper's hands, I think um, Bird perhaps <laughs> remembering what he what he did the other week. Uh, Hamblin now for City, Corby's still on the attack, now here's a great opportunity for Corby, plays inside the area but uh, drills the ball, Mark Jones it was played the ball in towards uh, goal and uh, Lewis Carey able to save that one with his feet across blocked by Towers and the ball comes all the way to Rawlings Rawlings finds Morford in the box here's Bird tries to curl it but uh, just goes wide of the far post but Edwards winning the flick on and Morford's in the right place here's Edwards again coming down the left for City finds the feet of Morford to lock on the edge of the box Locke has a shot and it forces a dive out of the goalkeeper Benyon but uh, I think Benyon was covered all the time. It's gone uh, wide of the post. An opportunity here. Here's Matt Locke in a similar spot to where he was early on in this first half when uh, Darren Mullings got on the edge of the ball. And Locke looks to swing this ball into the box. It's a good looking ball. Mullings again, but saved by uh, Benyon. But uh, really a carbon copy of uh, the move earlier in the first half. And uh, Mullings flicked it on, and Benyon had to get down very quickly. And he's put the ball out, uh, out of play for a corner. A great save, though. That was a superb reaction, save. He Split second, it was, what the player must have been four yards away from him when he got contact, and he managed to get get to his right and palm, palm it away. City so take a short corner there. Here's uh, Bird delivering the ball into the back post. L uh, Coop controls the ball down. Coop plays it into the box. Edwards, oh Edwards uh, for Gloucester City. They're taking one of them. Here's uh, Edwards though playing uh, Tom Webb into the box. Webb manages to turn Mayer. Webb has a shot with his left foot. And uh, it's uh, straight down the throat of Nicholas Benyon. Bird controls, brings it down, goes past one player, but then uh, can't control it after that. And now Corby can come forward on the counter attack here. Running just in front of us is uh, Andy Hall. Gets across all the way across the box now uh, to King. King passes it into the middle of the box. Well done by uh, Matt Coop. Comes between the two players and just knocks the ball out. But it's still with uh, King on the far side. Now King uh, tackled by Webb. Big ball forward now towards Morphin. Now Morphin can come forward for Gloucester City. On the far side, he's got Edwards rushing into the box. Uh, looks like he's going to try and find him as well. But uh, it was well blocked in the end by the uh, Corby Town captain, Phil Gulliver, and it's going to be a corner for Gloss City. Yeah, the formidable pace of Will Morford there. Uh, found himself with his back to goal on the um, on the halfway line, turned and just used his space to get away from the defender, got to the byline, tried to cover it back to Edwards, and won the front ball. Fantastic play, and the ball comes in here, but, but last ditch clearing header by the Corby centre back. Um, Gloss City still with the ball with Morford there. Um, oh, and it's a goal! It's a fantastic goal! That was a hell of a strike there by Matt Locke. It sort of bobbled around between a few players. Come out to Locke and uh, just hit it first time, smashed it into the top corner and 1-0 uh, to Gloucester City. That's fantastic. Come out of nowhere. Yeah, it well, well, came out of nowhere. My commentary was being pretty mundane, to be honest with you, because it looked like nothing was happening. And then the next thing, uh, Matt, Matt Locke just strikes the ball from the edge of the area and um, leaves the um, leaves the Corby stopper, uh, ben Benyon, uh, helpless. Uh, fantastic strike there to put Gloucester City 1-0. Well, we'll be disappointed as we were disappointed with our attendance of 260. Oh, hang on. Well, uh, Corby Times come forward again. Point blank range there. Gary King has a shot. Lewis Carey, fantastic save. Now it's rolled out for a corner. He's going ahead, uh, going against Gordon, but Gordon gets a toe in, but falls to the floor. So Adam Man carries on. He gets a cross in towards the far post. Benyon, a uh, bit, bit of a save for the cameras there as he smashes that one out, punches that one clear. And then on the edge of box for Gloucester City. He's uh, trying to find a place to shoot. He does shoot in the end, blocked, only as far as Morford. Morford takes a shot now. It's uh, been spilled by Benyon. Uh, Darren Edwards was there, but it was well cleared by uh, Paul Mayo at the last ditch, and um, Gloucester City putting a bit of pressure on at the moment. And uh, that's been cleared in the end by Corby, only as far as Rawlings. A bit of head tennis going on in the middle of the park here. And Coop's just been wrong footed there by King, and that guy King can come forward for Corby. Plays a ball into Jones, but uh, he's not going to get there, and that's going to be a goal kick for Gloucester City. It's the first real attack Corby have had you know, since the goal, and um, Edwards, and uh, Edwards. Looking for a few options now as he uh, miscontrols it, but uh, gets it to lock in the end. 
lock ball over the top towards uh, Morford. Morford controls it on his chest, brings it down, knocks it back. Edwards is running in. Edwards takes a touch. He's, uh, he's completely miskicked it there. And uh, that's just added to the comedy of this game. Um, the, ball, the ball sort of come to him. Uh, he goes to kick it. The ball just rolls, rolls the wrong side of his foot and he just kicks the air. Um, fantastic stuff there <laughs> yeah. for Corby. Big ball forward, uh, which is uh, well done there by, uh, by Smith. And now it's with Hall. Hall's coming forward. Great challenge by Coop. Gets the ball. Fantastic challenge there. If that didn't make that, if that was all wrong, it could have been a penalty. It could have been a sending off. But he uh, got it just right and got the ball. And now Gloss City can come forward. Man, uh, he's running. He's on the edge of the box. He's still going. Uh, just tuckered in there and took it too far. Now Lock on the edge of the box. Takes a shot. And that one's uh, just... Uh, just run short of the car park there. <laughs> With Hall, knocks it out wide then to Towers. Towers is running forward. Uh, he's got a few play got a few options, knocks it out wide in the end to uh, I think that's uh, King out wide there. And now it's in the middle with uh, Malarkey. Back to Hall. He's uh, looking for he takes a shot paired by uh, Hamlin and it's gonna roll out for a throw into Corby. Spreads out to Mullins. Mullins is coming forward. He's, going to, uh, he's on the edge of the box, own up a shot. He takes a shot in the end, and uh, it was always uh, kind of bobbling around for you. That one was always looking like it was going to go wide. But then on the far side for Corby, gets, uh, does well to get across in. Now headed forward, only as far as Lewis Carey, who will uh, jump up and catch that one. Uh, Rose, never one two. And now it's with uh, Morford. Morford, uh, again, looking for uh, some options. Gives it to Mullins. Mullins and gives it to Rose. Nice little triangle going on there. And now uh, Matt Rose tries to do a step over, gets it in, but it uh, ends up to uh, Mullins. Theo Lewis on the back post. And uh, the header held on by Benny and just a bite as uh, Mullins puts a cross in. I think he was just looking for the, that, that spot in the corner, which is uh, quite hard to reach for goalkeepers. But um, Benny did well there and he, uh, and he got it. And now uh, Matt Rose just <laughs> takes some of the Corby players out. Um, not, he takes them out, ref plays advantage, he takes another one out and uh, yeah, yeah. the ref gives a free kick. It's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's uh, Matt Rose time, as we say, uh, in, in Gloucester. <laughs> yeah, clearly hasn't learned from last week. No, Matt Rose, uh, not known for his subtlety in, in his tackling, um, I, I think it's fair to say. It's going to be a free kick for Corby then, similar to one that uh, Matt Locke had for Gloucester in the first half, where uh, Mullins headed it uh, straight into Benyon's hands. Which is uh, is crossed in, bobbling around in the top. Their heads everywhere. Broker, the shot comes in in the end. Just trickles out for a goal kick to Gloucester City, which Lewis Carey will take. Player and then give it to Mike Green. Mike Green header forward, uh, and then um, a bit of a miskick there by Hall. And now uh, Adam Mann comes forward, and Hall comes across, completely clatters Adam Mann. Mann's on the floor, rolling around a little bit, and um, that was a that was a very. Uh, Ferocious challenge there. Uh, yeah, I think I think the term for it will be robust. I think it was a very robust challenge. Um, he, he certainly got in the book for that, I imagine, um, from behind late, and yeah, he does indeed go into the book. It's to run around in a circle, then give it back, and now uh, he plays it back to Mullins again. This time uh, it's uh, Mullins that goes in a bit heavy on the Hibbert there for Corby uh, and Corby yeah, have a free it's kick. Gonna be, it's going to be a, a tip for tap booking here, I think. Uh, I don't think that one was worthy of looking back because the rest given a previous one. He's going to book uh, Mullings for that uh, for that infringement there. A couple of minutes left in this game then. Still 1-0 to Gloucester. And uh, the throw comes in, big throw. And uh, it's corner for Corby in the last few minutes in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, long throw. Um, you know, I think you can always tell when a team's getting desperate when they start to deploy the long throw. And Corby's done that long throw, goes in, cause all man is a problem. And a headed, headed clearance and it's a Corby uh, corner. Corner comes in then, yeah. into the, and it's, uh, it's cleared off the line, cleared off the line twice. Bit of a scramble, and it's cleared by Gloucester City in the end. How that is not in, I do not know. I'm, I'm nearly speechless then as the ball comes in again. Cleared by Hamlin. Absolute heroic defending by Gloucester City. Now Hall comes forward, looking to uh, get across in his time. He knocks it out, and it's going to be a goal kick to Gloucester City. Header then by Gulliver. And, uh, Gone over the head of Rawlins. Matt Coop, a bit of a. <laughs> that was a hell of a pass back by Matt Coop. That was more of a shot than a pass back. And, and uh, Lewis Carey does very well to just about keep that. Time here then at Steel Park. Um, Gloucester City pretty much have uh, secured Blue Square North football for, for another season. It's finished Corby Town 0, Gloucester City 1.